When it comes to finding help enrolling in Medicare, there is a sea of Medicare agents who are eagerly looking for your business. This doesn't make them bad people to work with, but unfortunately it can be hard to tell who has your best interest in mind or who is just telling you what they think you want to hear so they can get you to make a decision and get enrolled as soon as possible. The fear of working with a deceptive or pushy agent who doesn't have your best interest in mind causes some to seek local help. But unfortunately, whether an agent is remote, working with you virtually, or sitting in the room with you, these issues still exist. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three key questions you can use to determine if you're working with somebody who is truly gonna help you find the best Medicare fit for you. Hey everybody, my name is Kyle Williams and I'm a lead educator here at MedicareSchool.com. I wanna start out by saying that this video is not intended to bring unnecessary fear into your life. We simply want to provide you with the tools you need as you navigate this complicated process so you can feel confident you're working with someone you can trust. So let's get into those three questions that you should be asking your agent. Question number one, are you an independent broker or are you a captive agent? The reason we ask this is because an independent broker is someone who can write with multiple insurance companies to help you find the best fit for your situation. Whereas a captive agent is someone who only writes for one insurance company and will have limited options available. Something else to keep in mind is a captive agent probably won't have nearly as much experience as an independent broker. And working with someone who has less experience could leave you vulnerable to making mistakes through the enrollment process, purely because that agent just doesn't have the understanding. We've seen agents out there who will give you an answer even if they don't really know the correct answer just because they want to sound like they're an expert. This type of agent is not who you want leading you in such an important retirement decision. When you work with a captive agent, you're working with an agent who only represents one insurance company. There could easily be a better fit or better rates at another company, but no captive agent of that company would ever send you elsewhere to get the better deal or fit. That would be like walking into a McDonald's and having them send you to go across the street to Burger King just to get a better burger. It just won't happen. They only know about the plans their company offers and how to push those products. That's it. So again, make sure you ask if they're an independent broker or a captive agent, and try to get your Medicare help from an independent broker like us, who works with lots of insurance companies. Before we talk about question number two, I wanted to say that we've been taking the time to interview some of our clients, and we've been so encouraged to learn that our YouTube channel has been such a big part of their Medicare decision. And I know that for many of you, this channel is giving you the information that you need to make confident Medicare decisions. So please like this video, hit the subscribe button below the video, and share this video with someone you think could learn from it as well. Now, let's move on to question number two that you must ask every Medicare agent. Do you write both Advantage plans and supplemental plans? This is extremely important for a few reasons. The first one being if the agent you're working with only wants to talk about Advantage plans and not supplemental plans, it's for one main reason, and that's because they pay a higher initial commission in lifetime residuals. Supplemental plans pay the agent less initially and only for six years. But what's even more important than finding out if they sell both is finding out if they truly understand how both systems work. Simply ask them to explain the differences between these two systems and what the pros and cons are for each of them. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what these differences are, I wanna quickly highlight a few of the key differences between Advantage plans and supplemental plans. The first is your out-of-pocket costs in these two systems. Supplemental plans always have a monthly premium, but typically have a very small out-of-pocket expense beyond that. Whereas an Advantage plan, they usually have no or very low monthly premiums, but then you'll have to pay co-pays and co-insurance until you reach a yearly max out-of-pocket, which could be anywhere between $3,000 to $10,000 per year. The second difference is pre-authorizations, which is when the insurance company has the right to agree and approve or dis agree and decline your healthcare services. On supplemental plans, if your doctor recommends you need surgery and it's a Medicare covered procedure, you get that surgery, no questions asked. However, if you have an Advantage plan, you will have to deal with pre-authorizations about 70% of the time. This means you and your doctor do not have the final say when it comes to your care. The insurance company does. And although many of these are approved, sometimes the approval process can be lengthy and it can be complicated, which delays the care you need. 
They try to say it's best for the patient so they don't get unnecessary care, but the reality is denying a procedure and opting for less expensive options helps increase their profit. The final difference is networks. All Advantage plans either have HMOs or PPOs, with most of them being HMOs. On an Advantage plan, you'll have to work with doctors that are within that network associated with that plan. With some plans, you can go outside that network, but it can make your care much more expensive. Comparing this to supplemental plans, you will never have a network. As long as your doctor or hospital takes Medicare, they have to take your supplemental plan. There is no network of providers. If the agent you're working with doesn't explain in detail these key differences between Advantage and supplemental plans, I would be very cautious and hesitant about working with that agent. After watching a few of our videos, you should be able to determine if what they have to say about these two Medicare systems is accurate. Again, the reason we want to determine if they write both Advantage and Supplemental plans is because for those who can afford a little extra each month for that Supplemental premium, it gives you amazing lifetime coverage and financial security. It also gives you and your doctor total control over your care. Now, if someone cannot afford an additional premium for a Supplemental plan, then an Advantage plan is a much better option than just having original Medicare A and B only. Advantage plans are not bad plans, but you deserve to be educated by your Medicare agent on both systems so you can make a well-informed decision about your coverage. The final question is, will you be able to look up my medications and help me find a good Part D RX plan? We know medications are the number one healthcare expense that most people are going to face in retirement. And some agents do not take the time to help you find a plan that will adequately cover your medications. This is because we don't really make much money writing these plans, but they are an extremely important part of your coverage. Even if you don't take medications now, that could easily and quickly change. So getting a low cost drug plan will protect you in case you suddenly need medication that costs upwards of $16,000 a month. In addition to finding a good drug plan to start, will that agent be able to help you change plans every year to continue to meet your needs? The medications you need can certainly change throughout the year, and a plan that worked well for you last year might not be the best fit for the next year. That's why we have a simple online system that we use, and all you have to do is update your medications and pharmacy choices, and it will automatically find the best value plans that cover your medications each year based on your zip code. You wanna find an agent who won't just help you now, but will continue to provide you with knowledge and resources to keep your coverage up to date for life. Which brings me to my final point. After we have asked these three questions, number one, are you an independent broker or are you a captive agent? Number two, do you write both Advantage and Supplemental plans? And number three, will you be able to look up my medications and help me find a good Part D RX plan? There is one final consideration to make when choosing an agent, and that is to find out what kind of additional help or services they will provide. Signing up for Medicare Parts A and B, filing the proper paperwork for a special enrollment period, understanding how IRMAs work and how to appeal them, as well as signing up for Social Security. These are all complicated parts of the system that most agents simply will not help with. However, an experienced Medicare broker like us will understand how all the systems work and hold your hand throughout the whole process so you don't have to be overwhelmed or anxious. They also won't leave you to the wolves after they get you to sign up. They will continue to help you year after year as you have issues and questions about your coverage. This is why we've built such a robust customer service team. We know problems will come. Questions and concerns, they're expected. We want to be there to fix problems on your behalf instead of making you call insurance companies and waiting on hold for who knows how long. And listen, we know we aren't the only ones who do this, but make sure you find a good broker like us who will truly care for you and all of the needs you'll have. We believe you deserve that kind of experience from your Medicare broker. If this video has been helpful for you and you want to understand more about the differences between Advantage plans and Supplemental plans, then check out this video Marvin did right here.